Welcome to the Open Heavens Daily Devotional of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Oklahoma City. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboy. Uh, this morning, the 20th of November, the topic for our devotional is How to Flourish in Life. God's purpose, plan, and desire for each and every one of us is to flourish in life. And God wants to open our eyes to the things that we need to do to live a flourishing life. And as we actually open our eyes and open our hands to the world that God has for us, I believe that the seed that God wants to sow in our life will remain permanent in the name of Jesus. But before we go into God's word today, let's just say a word of prayer. Father Lord, we thank you once again for the privilege and the opportunity you've given unto us to see a brand new day. That God, as we go into your world, let the entrance of your word bring life and understanding unto us in the name of Jesus. That God, the seed you're about to deposit in our life, let this be abiding in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. How to flourish in life. A memory verse is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 isaiah 1 19 he reads that he reads and i quote if you be willing and obedient you shall eat the good of the land if you be willing and obedient you shall eat the good of the land each and every one of us is interested is uh, is willing to eat the good of the land but there's a prerequisite are you willing and are you obedient to the instruction of the Lord? I think in Psalm uh, 92 from verse 12 to 13, he said that the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. To flourish, are you righteous? Are you in right standing with God? And he said that, he went further and said that those that are planted in the house of the Lord, shall flourish in the courts of the Lord. Are you planted in the house of the Lord? Are you planted in Him? Are you planted in Him? That's the question. Are you planted in Him? That's the question. Or are you easily uprootable? Are you easily uprootable? Are you planted in Him? Or can you easily be swayed by the storms of life? But for us to flourish in the courts of the Lord, we must be rootly planted in Him. Those that are planted, the righteous shall flourish uh, like the palm tree. And those that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of the Lord. So God's plan for us is to flourish and to live a flourishing life. So if you have to flourish in life, one thing you need is simple obedience. Obedience to God's word. Obedience to God's instruction. Obedience to God's command. When Jesus told a dejected fisherman who has toiled all night but caught nothing, to once more launch into the deep and let down his net for a great catch. His response in Luke chapter 5 verse 5 was, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. So, obedience to God's word will actually give us a net-breaking sink, a uh, boat-sinking miracle. If you are willing to obey God's instruction, that instruction might not seem logical to you, but God wants you to eat to His instruction. And when you eat to His instruction, you realize that God has a better plan embedded in that instruction. But it's important for us to yield to His instruction. So, talking about how to flourish in life. So, the first thing is being obedient to God's will. It is key to be obedient to His will. The result of this simple uh, obedience was a net-breaking and boat-sinking haul of fish, which had the capacity of tr to transform his life forever. Beloved, God, God knows more than you do. In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28, which says that there is no searching of his understanding. If God instructs you to do something, please don't argue with him, because compared to him, you don't know anything. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 25, which reads an echo that because the foolishness, the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than, than men. So when God instructs you, when God puts a word uh, on your heart, when God actually gives you something to do, you need to obey him. If God says this is the way and it looks like a bush to you. I will advise you to simply go 
I, to, I will advise you to simply go through the bush and don't try to rationalize what God has said. When God asks, when God asks you to do something and you don't understand it because it doesn't make sense to you, just remember the sim that simple obedience is the key to flourishing. Obedience is the key to flourishing. And memory verse said, if you be willing and obedient, God wants us to absolutely be obedient to His will. God does not want us to be uh, uh, involved in obeying an aspect. Partial obedience is the same thing as disobedience. So, but God wants you to be obedient and actually yield willingly to His instruction. If you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. And there are several instructions in the scripture. There are several commandments. There are several things that people have tried to rationalize. But God's word is yea and amen. When you eat to his instruction, you begin to see a turn around in your life. There's an example. There's a story that a father in the Lord actually portrays in today's devotion. He said that when I became a born, when I became born again, I had a lot of problems with fighting. And I said to myself, what are these people talking about? 100% is not enough. Yet, you are asking me to give 10%. How will 90% handle what 100% cannot cover? Indeed, tithing doesn't make mathematical sense. But when you are dealing with God, it won't always make sense. It looks, it's, it don't even make sense. He, he is too big for you to understand with your little brain. It took me a while while I before I began to fight, but I started and I suddenly began to experience a change for better. The first thing that happened after I paid my fight was that I got into my office and my head of department called me aside and asked me why I have not requested for any money for my research. Here is talking about an experience he had because of it. Obeying God's instruction, obeying God's commandment, obeying God's uh, uh, leading, we, we were able to see how God actually was able to stand by his word. And God opened doors of opportunities for him. So today, God wants to open doors of opportunities for you. God wants to, to actually live a flourishing life. God wants you to live a life of abundance. But there are prerequisites, there are conditions that we must actually meet. God wants to trust you with a lot of resources, but can he trust you? Can he trust you to actually obey him? God will not deposit in someone whom he cannot uh, have that absolute confidence in that this person will be absolutely yielding to me. So today, I want us to realize that God wants us to live a flourishing life. God wants us to live a life of abundance. But we must be willing. We must be willing to yield and be willing to obey to his commandment. And as we do this, I want us to realize that God will transform our situation around and God will uh, give us uh, open doors of opportunities for us and will begin to live a flourishing life in the name of Jesus. The key point for this morning's devotional is those who cannot obey the ridiculous cannot receive the miraculous from God. Those who cannot obey the ridiculous cannot receive the miraculous in, from God. So today, we we'll begin to pray that God Give me the heart, the grace, and the ability to yield absolutely to your instruction and to follow your commandments in the name of Jesus. That God, give me that grace, the, that heart, that submissive heart, to be able to yield to your commandments, to your instruction in the name of Jesus. Those the situations around me might seem not to uh, be uh, perfect, but God, I pray, as I go through those situations, that God, I pray, you order my steps for good in the name of Jesus. And that God, you turn every situation around for good in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you for your word. That as we, your children, have made that commitment to follow and align ourselves with your instruction and with your and to your word, that God will pray, that God will turn everything around for our good. And God will open doors of opportunities for us and you will bless us abundantly. And God, our lives will be flourishing and we will begin to live a life of abundance in every aspect of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name we are praying. I hope you are blessed by today's devotional. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a blessed day.